game! Hello artists and art bros! Today, I'm going to show you all my production method leads for my first semester here in third year. And this is my first plate, which is, this is the study that I created. And here is a wild dody. <laughs> well, I was obsessed back then on her, so I used to listen to her album that time. But look at this. Come on, man. Where can you find someone like that? And I was just trying to open the rugby and I opened it. Fortunately, using my wits, bruh. So then I used the rugby to stick this paper onto the mesh. Don't worry, the paper has duct tape on it so it won't be messy when I print it. And as you can see on my finger, I have the prod mat as usual. And then in here, I just tried to practice the angle of how I'm going to print it. And I think this is the really best way to do it. Ay! Okay, game. 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 I have two paints only, which is black and orange. And that is what I'm going to use through this whole semester. You know, I just added the dolphin on the side just to make the colors pop more. Because, you know, orange and blue are complementary colors. And, you know, I just wanted this to be fun. However, in the next plates, it wasn't really fun that anymore. I don't know. I just don't like this subject so much as opposed to other subjects it was a fun moment for sure but everything goes downhill from this yeah let's just move on to the second plate shall we this plate is inspired from Picasso's painting. Well, it's a requirement from the plate, so I just have to do it even though I don't usually tend to like Picasso's paintings. And I was practicing there for a moment and I knew that that was the wrong way of printing when you compare it to the first one that I've made. But in here, I used my sketchbook and a bunch of markers for paper weight so that the dual um, colors would be consistent on it and as you can see here I really struggled on the way I printed it because the hoop was so small compared to the squeegee but I still tried it again and again and as you can see here, I actually took it off and then tried to salvage it by putting it again. You know, it was just like three seconds of thinking. And when I did this, of course, I screwed it up because it wasn't supposed to be like that. It looked like it was duplicated. I just don't know how to describe it, but... It doesn't look nice and of course it's my fault because I didn't paint it properly and I painted it two times as you can see here the way that I printed was just abominable <laughs> but still I carried on to the orange part which is the other side of the painting well as you can see on my study it was two colors and this was the part where I actually messed it up because the orange one should be printed first. Of course, I'm not only complaining on the order that I have printed these two-way colors, but also on the way I painted, I think it really affected on my perspective. If the two parts are really in sync with each other, 
but then when I looked on the results, as you can see here, yeah, the outlines should be the last one to be printed on because of the nose and of some of the wonky parts on the ears. It wasn't just the blade for me. I didn't practice it quite well, but yeah, people make mistakes, but I really like this next plate that I'm going to show to you, which is Fall Vibes. The prompt was to create two colors, but make it gradient. And it was really fun because it was so satisfying. And I also used paper stencil this time, but then the printing was the one that is different, which is gradient. And it really looks pretty and I love it on the purple t-shirt but what's wrong here now is how I blended it it wasn't orange then brown and then black so what it actually looked like was a poor attempt on the gradient thing I actually think that my first attempt was better in terms of the gradient but in terms of cleanliness, of course, the second one tops it. So this is the one that I have passed to my teacher. But, you know, mistakes happen. I was really cramming this and just turned this thin. If you're wondering, that is my prelims plate. And now let's proceed to plate 4, which is inspired by the movie Nope. This time around, it was an epic fail because I used too much bleach. I didn't have time to let it dry and see how does the bleach, you know, affect the shirt itself. And I was also looking for a dark colored shirt all over the house and I haven't found too many. I think I only found two of mine. So yeah, I was really out of options i was trying to create the horse and i think i had too much water it was seeping all over the place and the wallpaper can't seem to handle the water in the bleach but i didn't iron it so it was also my fault really it was a mess overall let's just proceed to the last plate to my final plate which is escapism inspired from the song escapism by ray feet zero seven zero shake and this was really fun like the most satisfying of them all because just the way that the plastic is removed when the cutter cuts it it was just really satisfying to see it's like from the speakers one you know when you remove the plastic the blue plastic on there and well the disadvantage here is when you scratch it everything is messed up because when you scratch it it is so sensitive that film will be removed and it's not fun when it is removed because you can't take it back i tried to put a film on the scratches and uh, on the mistakes that I created wasn't patched up in the final result and here I was also watching Tiffany Wang when I was creating this plate oh, no, I, scratched it. I still proceeded on using this film even though I scratched it because I was really tired of the same and all. In here, I tried to create the shapes a little better and I was looking at the reference, but I still preferred the imperfections of the curved lines and the way it is not connected together just makes the typography pop up a little bit more. You know, I'm having too much time when I'm looking at the camera with a wacky face. And of course, the Filipino way of sitting can't be helped when I'm creating a plate. 
No. Also, one of the disadvantages here is that you can't take it in one go. You just have to do it piece by piece. But I still had fun when I was creating this green film printing and also when I'm cutting it. Sleezing and teasing and sitting on him. All of my diamonds are dripping on him. I met him at the bar as a 12 or something. I ordered two more watts because tonight I want him. A little context if you care to listen. Yeah, I was having too much fun on this plate because this is really my jam obsession uh, during this time. I still am obsessed with this song because it is really so strong. And the music video is also so good in terms of like the editing and just the acting, everything just amazing. You have to try and check it out. I was looking for a man who was on the same page and I started to the pot. <laughs> oh, my whole base, cause. But really, the pitfall here in my last plate is the way I videoed it. Because as you can see here, my hair and my arm was just completely blocking the view in where I printed it. So, yeah. It was the only footage that I have of this plate and it wasn't good. I still liked it though and I like the messy look that it have even though it's not on my study. But there you go folks, here are all of my production methods plates. That's about it. See you guys soon or in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you for watching.